Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. We are going to talk about a super fun category. These items may be a little bit harder to find, especially some of the really, really old ones, but you may pass by them if you don't know about it. And some of these are going to absolutely shock you. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I search for bolos. Um, I go in and I look for active auctions with a lot of bids and I share them with you in that group. Wait until you see this one. So this is what prompted me to do this video right here. This Vintage unopened bubblegum, bubblegum wacky fruit 24 pack sealed from the 1980s. How fantastic is that? This sold for $4,511.26. The auction just ended. So I can't go in and verify if they left feedback or paid, but I do want to show you here that the person that bought it has 2,649 feedback. So that's always a good sign. Like sometimes if it's zero feedback or a low number, those items don't always get paid for. But usually if it's in the 2,000 range, those people care about their accounts and they're usually not just bidding for fun. So um, I'm hoping this uh, seller gets paid. Super exciting, $4,511. All right. Now, I want to take you over to Rachel Strickland's channel. If you guys are not following Rachel Strickland, please go sub her up. She is fantastic. She's a bolo finder, and um, she just shares loads of reseller information on her channel. But on her um, Instagram, I saw this post, and then she also cross-posted it over to her YouTube channel. And I am going to figure out how to play this for you guys, and you're going to see what she sold eBay sell I bet you're not ready for. I thrifted a little boy's coat from the 60s and inside that coat was this Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum wrapper. I decided to list it on eBay and just sold it for $12.99 with free shipping. All <laughs> right. So um, a gum wrapper. Go follow Rachel Strickland on um, Instagram also, but this is her YouTube channel. Her channel is her name, but it is all reseller content. Another channel I want to talk to you about is Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, who is kind of like me. She'll pretty much sell anything, um, but really likes vintage and collectibles. And she picked up a bunch of this Tic Tac gum. It's retired, so it's hard to find. You sell it under advertising and people will buy it for like movies and props and just different things like that or just nostalgia. But anyway... Here are some of her sales, and I have talked about these before in some videos, but this is like the perfect video to show you these sales. $34.99, $19.99 for one Tic Tac gum, $129.99 for um, six of these. Down here, we got $99.99, $22.99, $29.99. $29 so these aren't super, super old, but they're retired, discontinued, no longer made. So go check out. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel for more tricks and tips. All right, now we are going to dig into some big money bubblegum bolos. We're also going to talk about some other wrappers to be on the lookout for. It's just uh, incredible. It's unbelievable. I have gone in and verified all of these items with feedback so that that just kind of proves that the item was paid for and it wasn't just somebody that bid something up and didn't pay. Okay. I try to keep, um, I try to verify things when I do these videos to help us all learn. All right, so this is an early Golden Eagle peppermint chewing gum. This is just a wrapper. It sold for $125.38. So, I mean, I guess at an estate sale or something like that, you may find an old scrapbook of gum wrappers. I don't know, but if you do and if, if the price is right, definitely uh, maybe look them up, but you might not find comps. That's where Worth Point would probably come in handy. Um, I love worth point. I do have a link down below if you want to check it out. Um, and I do have videos that tell you how I use worth point, but oh my goodness, $125 for a wrapper. 
And these are, you know, some of them are going to be harder to find, of course. Beech nut, vintage beech nut cinnamon chewing gum from the 1940s. Get out of town. Sold for $59. This one here is get hooked on delicious fish bubble gum with fish food. What on earth? I have no idea. It says recharge gum flavor with fish food. Huh? I don't know, but it's a wrapper. Uh, it, it's interesting. It's sold for $75. The next item here is cherry apple artificial flavored bubble gum that pours. No clue. Anybody remember this one? Um, cherry apple bubble gum. Yuck. Uh, by Fleer. So this one's by Fleer. You got the little uh, right here in the corner. $65 on that one. This one is 1982 Bubble Yum Gum 4-Pack Regular Vintage Candy, unopened from the 1980s, sold for $129.48. I am I love these. I just think this is so funny. Vintage Unopened Freshen Up Gum Spearmint Flavor Candy Advertising. And if you look up here, these are should be sold under Collectibles Chewing Gum Advertising. So um, you want to make sure you put it under collectibles. Don't put this under just um, candy because people can't eat this. This is old. Um, this is more for advertising. Being sold for display and not for consumption. Food stored in glass jar with other candy. $129.50 on that one. Fire and Ice. This is a full display. Now I want you to remember what this sold for. $360.55 because I'm going to show you what a single sold for. And I'm wondering if the person that was selling the singles bought this because, oh my goodness, uh, $360.55 for this one. And so it's a display with the, um, it's full with all of the, it looks like what, 36 of them, I think. Okay. Do you guys remember this? I totally remember getting this as a kid. First edition, vintage 1987 bubble tape, $150 for that one. I loved bubble tape. Chicklets, here's another one I remember, 10 cents originally, tiny size candy coated gum, $316.11, Cheetah Girl, it's got Cheetah Girl on the front, so I don't know if packaging makes a difference on how much it goes for, but it seems like the chicklets do pretty good. Hubba Bubba from 1980, mint flavored bubble gum, new old stock, $260.55. If you're not smiling, like, how can you not smile? Okay, 1967 Tarzan Bilder. Bilder? Uh, I don't know. MIT Bubblegum. That is so funny. Uh, yeah, $2,499 for this. Check it out, you guys. $2,499. So is it a display case? I'm really confused now. Oh, okay. So it's got the display case. They didn't do a very good job in this title. Like I had no idea, but it's got all of the chewing gum in it and the case. So definitely um, that title could have been better because I was completely confused and I, whoops, I don't see any description. Oh, there we go. Beautiful vintage box, 99 packs. Um, box is missing one pack. Wow. Okay, so check this out, you guys. If you go into feedback and you put in Tarzan, right here you can see an excellent eBay seller with excellent product and quick delivery. So it was paid for. How cool is that? All right, we got sealed vintage 7-Up RC and cherry 7-Up bubblegum with liquid center from the 1980s. These sold for $437 plus shipping. What do you guys think people do with this bubblegum? Let me know in the comments. $437, that was a good sale also. And again, I checked all these, but I was going to use this as an example of how I check them, but I just did the Tarzan one, so sorry about that. Six vintage tab chewing gum. So this is what these look like. How cool are those? Those are really old. $62.25 on those. So not crazy money, but certainly pretty good. Wrigley's Chewing Gum Sample Box, $104.50 for this one. All right, this is a vintage full box of Adam's Peppermint Chewing Gum. Never heard of that one. This sold for $356.25. So if you can find the original packaging, 
definitely is going to bring up the value. Plus, there's a lot of gum in there. Vintage full box of Wrigley's Hubba Bubba Candy Apple. I'm surprised this one went so low. Wonder if a reseller bought it and is going to flip it. $42.55 plus shipping. Or maybe it wasn't as old. Vintage Wrigley's Chewing Gum Wrappers. These sold for $46 plus shipping. So just wrappers. Here's some more. These are the Wrigley's Chewing Gum Wrappers for the Blood Orange Gum. $127.50 on those. Uh, vintage Partial Box Wrigley's Double Mint Chewing Gum. Chinese version. I'm not sure what... Chinese version means, but that may have brought the value up. $149.99 plus shipping on that one. These are Fleer Justice League gum and tattoo, originally one cent. Can you imagine something being priced at one cent in today's uh, world? <laughs> one cent. $100.77 and original cost six cents. So that's crazy. Fire and Ice, you guys, remember that one that was in the, the pack uh, with all of the different uh, packages? One of them sold for $102.76 plus shipping. So that person could have wet, made way more parting it out. The next item is this 1980s Weird Wheels Box Complete 36 Sticker Pack Bubblegum Rare Cards. So this is gum and cards, and it sold for $168.50, so tops. Um, but you know, something to definitely keep in mind. These are vintage 1988 Topps Freddy Krueger bubble gum containers. Lot of six, three inch candy, $90 those sold for. So they're vintage, um, Halloween, which is going to bring up the value. Flat foot bubble gum. This is a candy wrapper that sold for $45. I also have a video on vintage candy to be on the lookout for, which is super fun. Also, if you type in Bolo Buddies candy into the YouTube search, it should pull it up. Zeno vanilla cream wrapper, $131.15. Uh, Floradora, Floradora gum, empty Floradora gum wrapper, $158.49. The next one here is another Zeno, but this is lemonade gum wrapper, $102.50. And this was the listing that originally made me do this video. So go check out Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and also check out Rachel Strickland. They are Bolo Finders. They have fantastic educational reseller channels. You guys are going to learn a lot from them. I will link them down in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about these bolos. Do you like this bolo category video? Kind of unexpected, but you know, if you don't know, you don't know. Like if nobody ever tells you something's a bolo and gives you information, then you're not going to know. Even if it's something that we're not going to walk past and find every single day, it's good to know that way we are prepared if we do see it. Because if you didn't watch this video, you may see this at an estate sale next month. You're going to open up this album and it's going to be full of bubblegum wrappers and you're going to be like, oh, that's kind of weird. Are you going to look it up? Or are you going to walk past it? I don't know what I would do. I think I would look it up. I would hope that like with my knowledge now I would look it up, but who knows now I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I am definitely going to buy it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, leave me an emoji or actually tell me what your favorite gum is down in the comments. Thanks for watching. That's not builder. Build, build. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. Builder. No. Okay. I thought I was losing my mind. I'm like, that's not builder. Like it's missing a letter. But then I started questioning myself. <laughs> Tarzan Bilder. 